All right, welcome to the final video of the PPC Campaign Generator basic training. What we've done in the last video is we generated our ads. Now we are ready and set to launch our campaign on Google and Bing. This video will show you how to put your ads and keywords and ad groups and your campaigns on Google and Bing. So what I did is I went to the results tab, I generated the campaign with the campaign selected here in the tree. And what you can do is hit Control A and then copy that. And then let's go to AdWords Editor, go up to File, Import CSV, and then Paste Text. And then just paste whatever is copied to your clipboard there. Make sure the columns match. Hit Import. So this is essentially importing the structure that's in PPC Campaign Generator into this free program that you can download. It's provided by Google. It's called AdWords Editor. And then after uploading, you'll see everything in green. Just hit Keep Proposed Changes at the top. So now that our keywords are uploaded, go back to PPC Campaign Generator. Control A, Control C for copy, and follow the same process. This will give you a preview, and then just import them in. Review imported changes, keep proposed changes. Now you'll see these red exclamation points. This means that you can't upload until you resolve them. On the campaigns tab, basically it means you have to put a budget. How much do you want to spend per day? So put it in this budget field per day field. And then here on the ad groups, all we have to do is set a maximum CPC bid for each ad group as a default. I'm just going to put $4. And there we go. If you want to sort by this column here, the verified status column, that'll show you keyword groups with errors. But they're not necessarily bad errors. That means that this ad group has no keywords in it. And that's because this was a group that contained some negative keywords, and that's why it has no keywords left. So I'm just going to delete that group. And now you see this one. This is a draft account, so I can't check changes to make sure that this location is correct. So if you have a specific geotargeted area, what I would recommend is uploading your campaign in a paused status and then going into the targeting within Google AdWords and changing your targeting area within the interface rather than doing it here within AdWords Editor. And that's basically it. If you remember earlier, we had some negative keywords that we had. I saved them to this text file. I'm just going to copy them. Go to the keywords area, and then there's this negatives button. Click that. Go to make multiple changes. Add update multiple campaign level negative keywords. And then just paste them in. And what I like to do is basically preview them and add them as a negative phrase match. That's just a preference, that's not a hard set rule. But after I upload them, I'll select all, and then I will go down here to match type and change that to negative phrase. And what this does is it prevents our ads for showing when somebody types in, for example, home window bar or home window bars. We don't want our ads to show up for that because we don't want people clicking our ads looking for bars. So we want to exclude those keywords as negatives. So we're saying these keywords are not relevant, so we don't want our ads showing up for these. And that's essentially it. We could upload this to Google if this wasn't a draft account. If this is a draft account. But if this was your live account, upload to Google and you're done. We can also scale this to Bing by going up to Export CSV. We can export the whole account, like so. And then we go over to Bing, and we go up to Import from Google, hit Import from File, Browse, find the file that we exported, hit Next, and import. And this is going to recreate everything we did on Google right on Bing. 
If you don't want to do it that way, let's say you only wanted to put your campaign on Bing and not Google. You could do that, and I'll show you how. So go ahead and just delete this campaign for now. And we will go into PPC Campaign Generator, but this time we need to export the results. So you hit the Export button, go up to File, Export Document, Export CSV File. Don't change any of the settings here, just leave them exactly as they are. Hit OK. Save it. We'll call this one Keywords. And it says, do you want to open the file? I say no, because now I'm going to export the ads. So let's go to Export, File, CSV File, OK. We'll call this Ads. Hit Save. And do you want to open this file? Say no. And that's it. So now we've, up, we've basically exported everything. Now let's go into Bing. And then go up to Import from Google. Choose from Google and choose import from a file. Let's import the keywords first. Hit open. Next. Make sure the columns match correctly. Import. That shows you a preview. So now we've imported the structure of the campaign. We also need to upload the ads. So go to import from a file ads, hit open, next, and here there's a problem with the header within PPC Campaign Generator. Make sure you select description line 1 here and then select description line 2. We're going to get this fixed but for now this is a temporary solution. So now all the headers actually match. Hit import and it says 76 new ads imported and when you import anything in Bing Ads Editor, you'll notice the view is last import. So we can see what was actually imported. So just go ahead and hit all. And this red X means we need to have a budget. So let's say $20 or whatever you're comfortable with. And then let's look at the ad groups. They have a bid by default of five cents. You'll probably want to change that. It's called this search bid. So change that to four dollars just like we had on Google. Or likewise if you feel you can get cheaper traffic on Bing, change that to whatever you think, 250. There you go. And that's basically it. We have everything uploaded. Positives. Our negative keywords for some reason did not upload and that's because we didn't have them within PPC Campaign Generator. The reason is we, we do plan to have that. Right now this is just kind of we're gonna actually have a, the ability to export everything in one file so it's easy to upload and we're gonna have the ability to make it easier to upload into Bing as well. So those changes are coming but for now this is how the program works and for the negatives you would just want to go back to that list that we had, copy them, multiple changes, import, make sure you choose negative, and that's pretty much it. We just imported our negative keyword list here. And so they all import as negative phrase. If you see any uh, notification messages or errors that means that it was duplicated. Why they import duplicate keywords, who knows? It's Bing, and Bing is really bad. So that's it. Um, hopefully this video helps people out there importing their campaigns. We could actually upload this now and we'd be done. So that is the basic training within PPC Campaign Generator. In the next videos I'll talk about some more advanced tips and tricks. For example, how to use these keyword parameter custom destination URLs and also how to use the import campaign feature. Thanks for watching.